My name is Dr. Giancarlo McAvenue, and I'm a plastic surgeon here at Toronto Western Hospital. From a very young age, I was always interested in working with my hands, and surgery, when I got into med school, seemed like a natural fit. But it wasn't until I was in my surgical rotations and I actually got a chance to do different surgeries that that's what really changed my mind on the plastics. I went to University of Toronto undergrad and I did a master's and I was a, you know, a pretty good candidate, I thought, but I just wasn't having success matching. I didn't let the dream die with just being told that I couldn't get accepted into a Canadian medical school. And so uh, I did some research and I talked to a bunch of people. Saba was exactly how I thought medical school should be. The education was very good and they have an excellent track record of graduates matching into competitive residencies. I was well prepared for all my exams. Like um, I did, you know, 99 percentile on the step one. Where you go to med school actually doesn't matter as much as where you do your residency. The University of Toronto is one of the top plastic and reconstructive surgery programs in North America. And when I matched, it was like really a dream come true. I was very lucky to have the opportunity with Dr. McCabe and the hand transplant team to do Canada's first hand transplant. There was 11 surgeons and it took about 18 hours. Since I was the resident, I got to sit in almost the entire case. So as each specialist kind of subbed in and subbed out, I was able to help them with each portion of the operation. Everything's equalized when you're in that operating room. If you're in an operation and there's a bunch of surgeons from Harvard or from Yale or from Saba or from wherever, none of that matters. It matters who knows the anatomy, who knows what's best for this patient. My goals would be having a private practice and running that. Number two, being involved in medical missions so I can give back in that way. And the last thing is to be involved in resident and medical student education in terms of my clinical practice, the plastic surgeon that I'm going to be uh, going forward is a result of my residency training. And I wouldn't have got the residency training that I got without the medical school foundation.